Good morning, it's June 3rd, 2023. It's not easy for a man to surrender his pulpit every service to Brother William Branham in press play. I respect any man that will do that. And I pray you do too, wherever you are. Today, it is in style to speak against Brother Brandon and despise the tapes. God inspired scientists to invent the reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder so that today we would be in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, fulfilling Revelations 10:7. In the history of the seven church ages, only in this last day had the voice been preserved. Brother Branham said, Realizing, Father, that out in the world these tapes will go, many microphones are stretched across this pulpit, which means that tapes are being made. Turning back there, the voice will be going into different lands across the world, around the world, 20 or 30 different nations will hear it. I pray for every person that hears this tape that hasn't got that hope of eternal life, that hasn't got the baptism of the Holy Spirit. May it come to their hearts sweetly. Grant it, Lord, and may I, if I never see them in this life, when I cross over into that land, may they run and grab me and I grab them and they, we holler precious brother to one another. Say, I heard your tape on Ephesus, how that God predestinated us to eternal life. And it was on that tape that I received the voice of God and was sealed away by the Holy Ghost into the kingdom of God. Grant it, Father. Heal all that's sick and afflicted. Get glory unto thyself, for we commit all this unto thee in all efforts, in the name of Jesus, thy Son. Amen. Now here is a letter from a God-called man, Brother Joseph Branham, that is continuing with the same message tapes translated in over 50 languages around the world. Dear Mrs. Jesus Christ, doesn't that sound wonderful? The Lamb and His Bride forever, settled in all the perfections of God. How can we describe it? We think about it. We dream about it. We read what the Word says about it. We see Him sharing His own holiness with us. In Him, we have become the very righteousness of God. What joy it brings us when we press play and hear God Himself speak to us through His mighty angel and tell us these things. There isn't anything in this life satisfying as it may be, as good and as fine as it may be, but you will find the sum total of all perfection in Christ. Everything fades into insignificance beside Him. He tells us we will have a new name, His name. His name will be given unto us when he takes us to himself. It will be more wonderful than we could ever imagine. We will go wherever the bridegroom goes. We will never be left by him. We will never leave his side. We will share his throne with him. We will be crowned with his glory and honor. And as he proves himself to the world, and all the world bows at his feet, at that time all the world will bow 
at the feet of the saints, proven that they were right in their stand with him. Blessed be God forever. He foreknew us by divine decree that we would be his bride. He chose us. We did not choose him. He called us. We did not come on our own. He died for us. He washed us in his own blood. He paid the price for us. We belong to him and to him alone. We are wholly committed to him and he accepts the obligation. He is our head. He speaks to us through his angel and we obey for that is our delight. From start to finish, the message on the tapes is all God to us. Let that life be in us. Let it be his blood that cleanses us. Let it be his spirit that fills us. Let it be his word in our heart and mouth. Let it be his stripes that heal us. Let it be Jesus and Jesus alone. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done. Christ is my life. This message is our life, for it is Christ. Oh, there are so many voices in the world, so many problems and needs crying for attention. But there will never be a voice so important and so worth attending as the voice of the Spirit, so that he hath an ear to hear. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. God has a voice for this day. It has been vindicated by the pillar of fire to be the voice of God. There will never be a voice that is so important and so worth attending as that voice on tape for today. Come join us Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time. We got a whole script bag full of honey. We will put it on the rock. Not any church. On the rock. Christ Jesus. And you sheep go to licking. You'll sure get well right away. All the sin troubles will be gone away when you lick the rock. That's all you have to do. Come hear the voice of God tell us all about the Philadelphian Church Age 60-1210. Brother Joseph Branham. God bless you and shalom.